Hey guys, it's Wolf, your one and only, and today I'm going to be playing Raiders of the Broken Planet. I've been playing this game for like two days now. I haven't been able to play it often just because I've been really busy trying to manage my streams, you know, not trying to stream too long so I won't oversleep so I can actually record and edit some videos. So, yeah. So I've been enjoying this game a lot. So if you guys are wondering what this game is, it's basically like an adventure mode, you know? Kind of like, um, what was it, what was it? Battleborn, in a way, their story mode. Kind of like that, but with an antagonist, which is another live player hunting you guys down, trying to destroy a mission. So if you guys have played um, Battleborn story mode, this is exactly like that. With the crazy characters and all their funny dialogue and crap like that. <laughs> but, this game does it in like kind of a unique way. They have a lot of lore on other characters and I guess I can show you guys all the other characters. Now these three characters are locked behind DLC. These three, well these four are open by default. And this character is one of the recruitable characters that I recruited, Hans. And he's actually pretty fun. He has a jetpack. This guy has a sniper rifle and like a, guess you could say a teleport to where he sticks on a wall. This character has like a wall jump. This character has, wasn't it like a his own little shield they can put up? And this character has like an anti-gravity, was it? I think it's anti-gravity. Degravitation or something like that. So yeah, there's plenty of like loadouts, builds you can do, but I think this is like the actual currency of the game where you buy where you, where you use money, so you can buy that, and the skins also cost that as well. Some of the skins are actually pretty sick too. Just look at that glorious beard, even though the skin looks really weird, but that beard is amazing. <laughs> now these are the main two characters I use. Um, Hades is definitely up my alley right now. I'm mostly aiming for this character just because she deals with holograms and she teleports back to her um, holograms, you know, kind of like confusing the characters and every, everything. Um, I guess I was going to do matchmaking, but I guess I'll explain a little bit. This guy is basically your normal sniper. Um, I don't know everything about this game, by the way. I just started playing like two days. <laughs> yeah, I've been playing for like two days and I started like last week. So don't think I know every single thing about the game. Some of my information could be wrong, some of it could be right. Yeah, I'm still learning. So, yeah, I wish I would have known about this game like when it was first released because this game is definitely up my alley. But I learned about this game last week. So, yeah, <laughs> not the funnest experience, <laughs> but yeah, not the funnest thing to know about a game that's just been like around for so long just to realize, hey, this is a game I could have been playing for like years now. So this character actually looks pretty interesting and plus you can only use the keyboard to like turn her around and stuff like that. I think it's this to hide. Yeah, hide the information and everything. This game has a lot of lore, by the way. And when I mean a lot of lore, they have a lot of lore about the, about the characters. If you enjoy lore on every single character in the game, then yeah, this is definitely up your alley. This character is annoying, especially as an antagonist. When you're fighting him, he has like this little miss ball to where he can just move anywhere undetected and get behind you and just completely screw up your day. Yeah, he's a jerk. He basically looks like a vampire to me. That's what I've always said. Uh, this character, I don't really know anything about, to be honest. Oh, never mind. She's the one who's kind of like, um, if you guys have played Warframe, she's kind of like Nyx. She can take control over, um, you know, ads, as basically like mobs, enemies, basically what we gamers call them. You know, just the little weak enemies you can easily take care of. Those are ads and mobs. Mostly ads. And she keeps snapping her finger like, yeah, uh huh, uh girl. Don't, don't you even mess with me. And like, <laughs> she also has the ability to heal as well. So this character actually looked pretty interesting to me also. Taking control of mines and everything, that's 
really interesting. This character has a wall jump. Yeah. And plus, she also has the ability to change that wall jump into a float. To where she can jump real high and just casually just float around. Uh, this is my first character to play because, you know... I mean, just look at that body. Just... Mm. Thick. I mean, what? Um, she uses a shotgun. This guy. After a while, more like damage he takes out, the more bloodlust he gets, I guess. And he transforms into like a monster. I guess you can look at. Yeah, that's his transformation. Look at that ugly guy. I mean, for what I've seen, he one shots abs as well. So, yeah, he just turns into a tank and just beats the hell out of everything. I love them. I can't use them though because those characters are DLC. Hive, Hive looks freaking amazing on this animation. She reminds me of something you would see from um, what was it? Paragon. Rip Paragon, by the way. You know, Paragon was actually pretty fun. But yeah, she definitely reminds me of something you would see in Paragon. Her power, she can steal the life force from enemies. Ow. Oh, that's that's cruel, man. So I guess she's the one who throws out the, like the little bubble. I think, from what I've seen about her videos, all those guys, all these guys' videos are actually on the devs' YouTube, where they focus on the character, tell you a little bit more about them. So yeah, if you want to know about a certain character, just type in their name, and you guys will learn it. So this guy fights on long a pack of excuse me? So I guess they're Oh, I guess he has like a little pet or a pack of pets in there that he can use. I rarely ever see anybody use this character, so I don't know anything about him. So yeah. This character on the other hand. He has a shield. His own personal shield that just pops up in front of him. And he can pretty much tank shots after a while the shield breaks and you know you gotta sit down it's kind of like what was it the halo shields you know the like deployable shields but it's like stuck to him if you guys have played warframe and you guys know bolt and he can pick up his shield it's kind of like that where he's running around with it this character deals with freaking landmines i hate her she's annoying that's all you need to know. <laughs> so you can hook enemies and drag them to you. Okay. That sounds interesting. Hans. He has a jetpack. He's a jetpack guy. He flies around. He's Farah. That's all you need to know. <laughs> That's his, literally his power. Just floating around. And the jetpack's actually pretty fast and gains a lot of distance. Oh god, this character, like I said, I'm after this one. She deals with holograms. She can teleport to her hologram, switch positions, and just counter the hell out of you. Which is like really fun and interesting. I really want to learn her. I can't wait to get to her. So, I'm not saying any names just because I know I'm going to butcher them. <laughs> so, yeah, that's your main, <laughs> that's your main reason. This character, OP as hell, retardedly strong, and pretty much no brain to really use <laughs> from what I've seen. He he has a he has a pistol that projects like sight. The thing is, when he's holding down sight, he summons a droid that shoots you. He doesn't even have to really aim at you. The droid just comes up and starts shooting at you. I mean, the droid has really weak damage, but it's the power. Your droid launches a rocket that pretty much, you know, hurts like hell. And this character actually looks really fun. I love his design just because of the headphones, too. This character takes care of his ads, and he has... Um... Oh, yeah, pretty much like a force field that projects... Or repel the enemies. I don't think it repels shots though. That's the only thing. 
So he's good for, as defensive, you know. Doc. People say he's retardedly strong. <laughs> he has an electric field that can just slam down on the ground. I remember seeing his video and that still looks sick to me. It reminds me of that freaking... Actually, yeah, Doc reminds me literally of that dude from um, Battleborn. He actually reminds me of him. Now that I think about it. And I think he did it with like electricity too, right? At least I think. But this Doc is really defensive and he's really good good at controlling. His gun is pretty much like a lightning rifle that chains between, you know, ads and everything. So once you pretty much hit one ad and connect it to another ad, everybody in that like location starts taking damage from each other. That's why I want to save up gold and get him. This character, I kind of wish she could attack inside of her other form, but she can't. This character can transform into, well, from their terms, a feline, which it doesn't look like a feline to me at all. I just want that to be known. It looks nothing like a feline. Does that look like a feline to you? That does not look like a feline. I just want that to be known. Looks more like a wolf, if anything. But yeah, she can transform into this, and this moves like like high speeds and can get around the map like extremely quickly. Probably the fastest unit in the game. Probably faster than Hans. I'm pretty sure you can make her faster with uh, faction cards. And she has a bow that can ricochet off walls and you know kill enemies with like trick shots or something like that. Uh, that's pretty much all the characters. I'm gonna get into it and stop explaining before I go on for hours and we're gonna get into a mission. Alright, I'll see you guys when we find a room. Okay. Good, we found a match. Let's see if somebody will accept it. I don't think everybody's accepted yet. So I'm gonna be playing as a raider. So once it changed the screen old screen chains green and tells you you're gonna play as an antagonist, it's you versus four players. And you have infinite lives. So there is a whole rock paper system. So there is like a whole rock, paper, scissors kind of deal with this game. Um, let's see if I can remember it. Quick strikes beats grabs, grabs beat dodges, and dodges beat quick strikes. That's pretty much what it is. And oh dear god, we have level ones, new people to the game. This would be fun. I'm gonna let them have the default characters. For some reason, people don't like this character since he's a sniper. It's actually pretty funny. <laughs> so this guy's gonna pick the dude that transformed. This guy's gonna pick the dude that deals with the whole bunch of ads. I think he has like a mini gun in the way. And the sniper and I'm pretty much the jackpot dude that gets around the map. His gun's weird. I'm trying to still learn it a little bit. Since there's no characters with like actual assault rifles that I enjoy. And there's the antagonist, oh god. And matchmaking is kinda eh in this game, but I don't really care. I kinda enjoy fighting against real like high level antagonists for some reason. It's just like really fun. So they do have stories you can look at with your friends and everything. I do recommend playing this game with friends. I haven't been playing with friends just because, you know, none of them are actually interested in this game that I'm sure of. But, eh, if I can get a friend uh, interested in this game, I'll be sad. Well, this is going to be annoying. Let's get this over with. <laughs> As long as we all stay alive, we should be good. Depending on where antagon- Oh, he's the uh, beast dude. So our antagonist, like, status is up on the right. So you can see if he's alive or dead. There he goes. Alright. They took him out. There we go. So grabs are really, really OP in this game. If you get grabbed, that's an automatic death. All 
Oh, okay, I got teammates alone. Let's not have them alone. Let's stay in the pack a little bit. We still gotta deal with our objective. Get him off the objective. I hate that they ch All right, got him. So I'm making sure the ads stay off the objective. So the first wave on this map is just to pretty much wait out and defend. Get over here. I'll be fine right here. He has to run to me through my teammates. And he's dead. Alright, so so far, so good. Yeah, his gun is like really weird. I gotta sort of lead shots. But they do like AoE damage, so. And like a small radius, that is. Oh, I gotta get more ammo. I gotta kill. So the way to get ammo back, you have to melee. Or grab, whichever one. All right, so he's up there. Wow, our uh, teammate's dealing with him. Wow, is he? He's inside the wall! No, dude. <laughs> oh, God. That's a great first. First, like, recording. Oh, I couldn't do anything. So once you're, like, um... That dude's still trying to shoot through the wall. So once you're, like, um incapacitated just walk around limping around you're kind of vulnerable you gotta you gotta sit away for a while here we go all right on the platform hit him once there we go he's down not bad not bad. So far, we're doing pretty good. This guy has not really used his um, beast form a lot against us. I guess he's given us a handicap or something. Oh god, somebody went with watch scene. So in this map, our... Our objective is to save Lycus. Yeah, he's he's naked too. So that's why you can count it as Borderlands into humor too. So if I remember correctly, here comes the like the kind of annoying part of this mission. All right, let's go. My gun honestly doesn't do like enough damage to kill yet, so I gotta upgrade it. Oh, okay. All right, there goes the guy in his beast form. Yeah, he's just wrecking nads.
Got his ass knocked out. Damn. You guys can kind of see why I enjoy this game a lot. But let's go ahead. The antagonist is going to be down for... Four more seconds. Alright, he's up. Alright, he's dead. Now he's down for 12. I normally try to manage these as much as I can. Hopefully my teammates keep the ads off me, or not. Alright, now I gotta watch out for... Where is he? I guess he spawned behind me. So, in this game, you can't regen your health if your stress is too high. So, you gotta see the little yellow meter under my HP. That little person right there, that little body icon, if my stress is above that, I can't regen. But there are some characters who can... Ah, uh, what? I rolled, man. Come on. I didn't even see him lightening up. That sucks. Oh, everybody's in a weak state. And also, if you um, grab, you can restore some of your HP, too. So that's a thing. And obviously, the enemies know how to counter your grab. Not all the time, but most of the time. And you gotta keep on your toes when fighting other players. Okay, team, what just happened? Apparently I did damage to myself, maybe? I think. I don't understand what just went on there. I gotta rewatch it. <laughs> but yeah, normally these missions last for at least, like, probably 30 or 40 minutes? Maybe an hour? Depending on the mission. Alright, he's down for one more minute. Yeah, from what I see, he normally spawns over here. Is he okay? I don't know if he's okay. It's like he's like a bot is playing instead. Wait. He just respawned. Where is he? Got him. Yeah, so this character's gun is kind of dangerous to me up close. Alright, dude. Take it down. If you guys can. Alright, he's up. Where is he? He normally always spawns back here for some reason. What? Okay, game. I I still got him though. Ah, <laughs> uh, the whole like turning into a freaking burning sun is so satisfying. But you guys see our lives at the top of our team? Oh, we gotta hurry. Gotta hurry. Gotta hurry. Gotta hurry. Or we're gonna lose a life. Ah, there we go. We made it. We don't lose a life. Good night. So don't grab when they're incapacitated. Mostly melee. Then it'll turn it into a grab.
And this is the annoying part, because this thing launches missiles. Antagonist spawns over here. Nice try, get off my teammate. <laughs> That's why I love this character guy, that I can get around the map like really easily. Alright, the Repat Antagonist is up, where is he? Keep an eye on him. There you go. Go ahead and get on the elevator. Now, here comes the really difficult part. After we get through the elevator, this area is like really difficult. And I gotta be careful with my gun here. Alright, there we go. We made it. So basically on this part, we're supposed to start up some like, pretty much, I guess you're, they're generators or something like that? I haven't played a game in like two days now. Yeah. These elite soldiers like to grab a lot. So you have to beat the crap out of them before they beat the shit out of you. And plus, when they grab you, they're immune. Okay, he beat him. I was about to say, ah, oh, shit. Because you can't save your teammates once they're grabbed. for you. Alright, he's not going to be up for five. Let's go ahead and override that. He normally spawns up here, right? Oh, no. Yeah, see? They like to grab, and when they grab you, that's an insta-kill. Actually happy he did that. And once they do kill you with a grab, they take your ether. And your ether is basically gives you your cards of your uh, faction. Just your basic abilities. What is he doing? What are you doing over here, dude? <laughs> We have one more life. So we gotta be careful. Because once that last life is gone, we have to survive until we get another restore. Come here, son. <laughs> Try to grab my teammate. How dare you call me old man? Nice try, bitch. Not today. Alright, let's go ahead and start this up. He missed the first one. I heard it. So that whole, like, noise is just basically... Can you get off that? Thank you. 
So that whole noise is pretty much them about to grab it, grab you. So if you hear that, you better be reacting really quickly to it. All right, that's the other one. All right, so all of them are up. So the engineers are the only ones who can turn off these like reactors. Beat you to it. Sorry. All right, so now we got to survive. Basically, the best place to survive is right here. Ah, oh, wow. Wow. Okay, I'm out. They got to they got to survive without me. That sucks. I got caught out of some BS. But this does give me a chance to show you guys some some of everybody else's gameplay, how they're playing. So I got they got five seconds to survive until we get a replenish. The antagonist's job is to kill everybody before we get a refill. And look, that's 15 lives back. So it's really difficult for the antagonist, but the antagonist gets points for giving us a bad time. See, and, and that see that's what I mean about that crap you can't help your teammates once they're in that situation <laughs> sorry dude I knew you were behind me they coming for me all right now we get need to get to the top Not today. This dude's in front of me, by the way, game. So the best way to get out of here in this situation, kill the antagonist first, have everybody leave. Because you don't want one of your teammates to be stuck here with this dude. Just to have them being farmed. Alright, he's dead. Everybody has to get up here now. You have emotes too. Where's that last dude? He has a teleport too. What is. Alright, the antagonist is up. Got him. All right, everybody go. And that's how you pretty much do it. There we go. Everybody got out. Because I saw him sliding towards that teammate. I knew he wasn't going to have enough time to react. Oh, God. So, yeah, that's basically Raiders in a nutshell. Very enjoyable game. I wish I would have known about this game way sooner when it was, like, released. But I'm just hearing about this game like last week, which I'm kind of pissed about because these, this game is something I could definitely get behind. And I've been playing it for quite a while on the stream. Pretty much I go from um, Knight's Chronicle to probably a little bit of Alchemist Code, then jump on this game. Ooh, bleep print. I don't use that character though. And plus, I kind of need gold for um, Doc when he comes up. So, I, oh wow, well, everybody's taking a piece of the pie. I guess I'll take a little bit of piece of the pie too. Yeah. Well, actually, I'm gonna take this. I would take the faction coin points. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know he was gonna jump on that train. If he would have jumped on that, I would just stayed on the blueprint. But it's fine. 
I still got a decent amount of uh, faction points. So faction points are basically to put into your cards and the ability setups. You know, you get the more ether you have, the higher the level it is. Like level five is the max. The more like stuff you get. Hold on. Like I said, I'm pretty newish to this game too, so I don't know every single thing about it. So some of my information could be wrong or right. For those of you guys who have been playing this game way longer than me, uh, give me some tips. <laughs> Yeah, I knew it. Ah, uh, I should have went for the gold. Ooh. Actually, we got a few gold right there. How much is he? Ah, uh, yeah, he's not recruitable for us. So this character, everybody's saying, is like really, really strong. Like, that is sick. I love the skull. I wish that was just a permanent skin of just his skull. To be honest, I always thought it was, too. Like, it just looks so sick. Not only that, the little, um... Generators, or whatever it is, that comes out of his back, too. Looks amazing. So, yeah, this game definitely has a lot behind it. A lot of love, a lot of, of the friendly community. From what I've, you know, kind of... Talked with some of the community. You know, some of the streamers and everything. They're kind of... They're pretty nice. You know, the community is quite non-toxic into uh, free-to-play. When it hits free-to-play, then... Oh boy, that's when the tryhards and everybody come out. But good thing there's no, like, voice chat. There's no, like, text chat. It's all emotes and, you know, commands. I think it should stay that way, because if it goes any farther beyond that, there's going to be some very large toxicity. If anything, it should just stick with friends and, like, their own, like, programs with voices and everything. The toxicity hasn't really been all that bad from what I've seen. There's a lot of bullshit and a lot of us get frustrated though, <laughs> but overall the game is really fun. Hope you guys enjoyed. Try it out yourselves. Until then, peace out and follow me on Twitch if you guys want to and follow me on Twitter for updates. Peace. I swear it's gonna get better real soon. <laughs> Don't let anyone tell you what you should do I got a clear view We're gonna make it soon Just keep pushing through You're what you got to lose You're what you got to lose You're what you got to lose Just keep pushing through Cause what you got to lose